Morning guys, morning, morning, early, early hours, odd of morning here, um, being a bit under the weather, which is why you haven't seen me in a few days, so all good, all good. Um, so, um, it looks like this whole Harry Kane by Munich The deal looks like it's getting closer. Um, so, <clears throat> before I go on to talk about that, big up to the boys who yesterday provided a fantastic show, guys. It really was a really good Monday night stream. Gutted to have been to have missed it, um, but um, Stale JP Lee Has Will Mari. Provided great content. Brian Daigle, of course, as well, who was a special guest on the channel. Uh, they all provided great content. Sadly, it's not with great with, with, with the best of news with what's happening at the moment at Spurs. But you know, I hear things like, "I just want him gone." I hear this all the time. Um, I wrote something on Twitter earlier today. Um, for those of you who perhaps are on Twitter or X as it's known now, whatever, uh, you can find me at Iggy Prince TV. Um, for those of you who wish to follow me on Twitter, I have an Instagram page, but it's rare that I use it, but it's also at Iggy Prince TV. Um, anyway, on Twitter, I wrote um, these very words. I will never understand. I'll never understand anyone that says I want him gone. The fans that say say this don't truly really realize the impact Harry, the impact it will have Harry leaving. Um, it's not just the fact of him leaving, which is a which is huge news on its own. It's yet another hit right here, guys, uh, in the heart. Seeing another great player leaving Spurs due to the lack of football and ambition. That's the part that hurts me the most. It effing stings. For anyone saying, I want him gone, for me, is enabling these effing owners. They are the reason that our greatest Spurs striker in our history is on the verge of leaving Tottenham Hotspur FC. I thank Enoch, I thank Joe Lewis, and I thank Daniel Levy for all of this. Yet another great is leaving Spurs. Now, one may uh, say, you know, he's got to leave at some point. And that's absolutely fine. It's, it's a fair argument. But to say, you know, because it, it, the time comes for every player to leave at some point, And that's absolutely fine. But do it with a plan. If you know that a player is leaving because he's getting old or he's perhaps after few, after years of being at a club, it's time for a change or it's time for the club to change. It happens. Uh, that part I can agree with. What, what I can't um, accept is not planning for that. If you know that day is coming, surely you have things in place to say, look, this guy is exit, it's exiting the door, but don't worry. Our road will continue, our journey will continue with this player who will take us to the next level. Um, I remember, I remember like um, some of the great teams of, of growing up, you know, um, when the great Juventus had Roberto Baggio, he was on the verge of leaving or they were, they were letting him go, but they had the really young Del Piero coming through. And Bruce Costa was on the verge to leave. They had Kaka coming through. Um, so many other examples. I mean, those are just two names. And I'm thinking, well, not everyone can have those great names available. I understand, but there was a plan for when great players are are, are coming to an end. And what do you do to prepare for it? How do we prepare for that? There is no plan. We know that Harry Kane's time at Spurs will eventually have come to an end, but why not prepare for that? 
just and always the players like Bale, Modric. Um, now we've got uh, Harry Kane, and I can list many others. They've all left Carl Walker. Um, some real quality players we've had at Spurs have all left due to lack of football and ambition on the pitch. They've all left for better, better teams, like Real Madrid in the, in the case of Bale and Modric and so forth. But they really did leave in the end because there was a lack of ambition at this club. And here we are yet again with Spurs parting with arguably... Well, it's not argue about the numbers speak for itself. The greatest striker of Tottenham Hotspur's history. And we don't have any countermeasures for it. We don't address the issues that we're now going to be having up front. But, you know, Richarlison will resolve everything. And I hope he does. But there's a question mark, guys. You can't say there isn't a question mark on that. We haven't addressed the 63 goals that we conceded last season at the back. To this day. 1st of August now, guys. 1st of August. August the 1st. The 1st? The 1st. August the 1st. We start our season in what, two weeks? What's in place for that, guys? What have we done? But I just want him gone online, everywhere we talk about it. We just, you know, I've had enough of this Harry Kane deal. I just want it gone. I've said nip it in the bud, but I've said nip it in the bud one way or another, but having something else in plan, have have something else lined up. You can't just say, get rid of him. You cannot say, just let's get rid of him. What do we have in place for it? What, what countermeasures are there? News tonight saying that Bayern Munich's offer today was around 110 million euros, 90 million pounds, 90 million euros plus 20 million euros in add-on fees. It's a 94 million pounds, 77 million pounds plus 17 million pounds in add-ons. So 90 million euros plus 20 million euros in add-ons, which in pounds sterling is 94 million so 94 million altogether, 77 million straight up front and 17 million in add-ons. But Tottenham, according to the, the source, it says Tottenham won 120 to 20 million, 130 million sterling pounds, which is an original 140, 150 million euros. Uh, the Spurs Express have said, Bayern are increasingly confident of signing Harry Kane after holding positive talks with Tottenham on Monday. Bayern signaled they're ready, uh, they're ready to bid up to 85 million pounds, 99 million euros, before they return to Germany. Spurs would want an offer of about 100 million. I mean, <laughs> it, listen, on the money that they've just offered us, it should be a here we go. It should be a done deal. It should be, it should be what, what we're still negotiating here. A guy that's what leaving in a year's time is in, in less of a few months can really say, right, I can now pick the team that I want and go to. And he can choose any team to go to on a free. And just all he has to do is get the best personal terms. And here we are still haggling. Um, Guys, I'm going to level with you, man. I had this brilliant, brilliant feeling. I, I, I said to myself at the beginning of the season that I would hit the refresh button, restart, and, you know, Ange Postacoga come in, great ideas, great guy. You can see he means business. You can see how he wants to play football and all of that and all of that. And I was all on board with that. But as time has gone on, as time goes on, since that very start at the beginning of... Um, July the 1st, and here we are now on the 1st of August, what, exactly one month. I'm that feeling of deja vu. The closer to the, the season we get, it's slapping me in the face. I wrote this on Twitter as well. Um, that feeling of deja vu is very quickly slapping me in the face. The realization of the things that we still haven't addressed at the back. We haven't addressed the fact that we can see the 63 goals with anyone of any importance coming in. 
today. And I know already, I, can, I know already, many of you, well, the market's open to the 31st of August, but guys, this stuff should be happening straight away. You, rec you recognise you've got a leak, a massive leak in a house, which is like absolutely draining with water. You, you've got a massive issue. You don't say to yourself, you know what? I'll deal with it. In a, I will deal with it later on the month. <laughs> it doesn't work like you deal with the biggest issues. You deal with them straight away, straight away, man. And that should have been the first priority we should have addressed to pacify me, to pacify you, to pacify the fact that the sixty-three goals we conceded. We said, you know what? Nip that in the bud straight away. Sort it out. So by the time the manager the manager's in place, come July the first. We're giving the players by the end of the first week. He's got a long time to then work with them. And then we go and get the Madisons. And then we start working our, stuff, our way up the pitch. But we've done the other way around this time around. We're still with two weeks to go before the season starts. We still haven't addressed that. Then we have this Harry Kane. I just want him gone. Remember that guy. There's people out there saying, you know what, this is... It's all, for me, it's, it's enabling his owners. It's, ta it's, it, it's taking, it, 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 it's enabling his owners to say, do you know what, just get rid of him. Just get rid of him. If he doesn't want to stay, just get rid of him. And I agree that at that point, at some point, we have to, a player that doesn't want to stay, we have to decide. There's a year left, cash in on him. Of course, I prefer that. Then to go and, but how long have we had this situation on going? Where's, where's, where's the countermeasures? I say it again, God. Where is the countermeasures for this? Nothing in place. We've got Richarlison, who's the number nine now. We can go on, as it stands, we've got him. That's our forward. Now, he can go on to score 20, 30 goals on the Ainge Buster Club. I don't know. But can any of you honestly tell me that that's going to happen? Is that a guarantee? Do I not have cause to, to cause for concern that this guy's going to get me 20, 30 goals? Is he going to replace the goals? He might do. He might not. So we're leaving it. We're, le we're leaving it on a on a gamble, there, aren't we? We was defensive last year with that def with the defenders that we had. We was defensive last year. We wasn't open and expansive, and we was conceding goals for fun. This year, we're going to start attacking teams. We want to go. We want to play the front foot. We want to play. We want to play. See the good football. Play, see them off with this defence. We're going to be open, and expansive. That means we're going to be open at the back. So if we was easy to score against against a defensive team, what we're going to be like when we start attacking teams and they start going the other way? If we realise that we're 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 as strong as an ice cream in the, in the sun, it's worrying, guys. It's concerning me, and I didn't want to do this. I don't like doing these sort of videos, but it concerns me. It concerns me, it concerns me. And people that just say, you know, Carry Kane, I just want him gone. <sighs> when are these owners going to be accountable for what goes on at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club? Football Club. It's the football inside of it. When are they going to be accountable for that? I'll leave your comments. Oh, leave your comments below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to take <laughs> some more medication and go back to bed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the vid, guys. Smash that like. It's always gratefully appreciated. Um, subscribe to the channel. I promise it ain't going to always be like this. And I'm sure there's better days ahead. Today, man, today, guys, I am feeling like this. And I wanted to share that sentiment with you. Um, I'm not here to BS anyone. I'm not here to, um, I'm not call, trying to cause any upset. I'm just expressing my concerns of where I think we are on the 1st of August, 2023. I just can't believe we ain't got defenders in. I can't believe we haven't got anything else. What is the countermeasures of Harry Kane leaving? 
how people can just say, you know what, I want this sorted out, I want this done with, just get rid of him. It's almost as if to say it's his fault. It's his fault. It's Harry Kane's fault. It's not Harry Kane's fault. If you, if you, me, were in Harry Kane's shoes, knowing what we know about Tottenham Hotspur, would you want to not would you not want to leave leaving this club? I certainly would. Why would I want to why why would I want to stay at this club? What is it about Tottenham Hotspur that I want to stay at the club for? I've beaten a record. I'm the, great, I'm the greatest striker that's ever played for this club. Bayern Munich is after me. I'm likely to win some trophies there. I'm more likely to win trophies, I suppose, if I stay. Where's the ambition of this club? All the players that left before me that I was teammates with, what have they gone on to succeed? Have they succeeded after they've left Tottenham? Ask yourself those questions and then ask me why are we blaming Harry Kane? Or for those of you who are blaming Harry Kane for leaving. But still there's people out there who want him gone. Still being angry with this with this with this with this with this with this owners and board and not lacking lacking of any ambition, lacking of any drive, lacking of any planning, lacking of any everything there is regarding football they lack. They continue not address. They continue doing the same old, same old. But yet here we are, on the verge of losing one of the best strikers to ever grace White Hart Lane. But guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I'm done an nearly a twenty-minute video. Sorry, guys, man. I hope. It hasn't taken up too much of the day. And, I, and I, like I said, the feeling for me is not to give you, a, uh, leave you on a downer. It really isn't. It wasn't, this is not the reason why I've done this video. But if you're not, if you're not, if you're not seeing it how I am, I want to know what how you're seeing it. Am I being too down? Lift me up. Maybe I'm asking you guys to give me some light on this. Share some light on this. And I know this is my thinking right now, combined of me not feeling too brilliant um too great it's probably a combination of both that's making me do this video so it is what it is let me know your thoughts in the comments below like comment and subscribe and i'll see and i'll soon be seeing you i should be seeing you in the day or two once i feel 100 percent. also do not forget to lock in 8 30 a.m 8.30 a.m. No, 9.30 a.m. Stell has got some breaking news. I think he's got Daigle joining him in that as well. Head, Make sure you lock in. Set your alarm for 9.30 a.m. 1st of August. Lock it in at Tottenham away. Some big, big news coming. Speak to you soon. As always, forever always. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> The first game we look for, Robbie. For Robbie. Top them away. Top them away. When we got top them away. Top them away.